You know, we, we know that the, the backups at the ports were something we've focused on for a long time, but then there were reports of the ships being ordered to stay a little further out. I, I think the most important thing to measure is how long does it take something to get from here to there or from there to here? What, what have we done in terms of, of cutting down that time? Has, it, has the wait time shrunk? That's right. Yeah. If you measure it in terms of, uh, for example, the, the containers that are just sitting there uh, versus moving, there have been some real improvements there. I would agree with you that it's partly in terms of wait times. It's also in terms of costs, right? We have seen uh, margins and, and spot rates go through the roof. We're looking for those to settle out a little bit, but we still have, uh, you know, off the charts demand. Uh, we got out of the holiday season and went right into the home improvement season and continue to see that overall imbalance between demand and supply. As far as the ships, this is an important note. So I want to be clear, just because you see fewer ships off the coast of, of a place like LA Long Beach, that's not automatically a sign of progress because there is a new system for queuing that makes more sense environmentally. It's the right thing to do, but I don't want anybody to think that that, that should, should be confused with kind of solving the issue. That's why what we really count is how many ships are on their way, whether you can see them or not, you know, standing there in San Pedro Bay. There have been improvements in that count too, but it's still very high.